What's going on guys? It's the Beastly Gamer here. Welcome back to the channel. And today's video is more of an alert uh, for the gamers out there, uh, young and old. The world is not a pretty place and, and sometimes doing something as innocent as playing a video game can lead to some really, really troubling acts. And in this kind of situation, you know, I'm the kind of person, especially being the father of four, soon to be five, I believe that child abuse is something that should be, uh, it should be prosecuted with death. In, in, in some cases, you know, sexual child abuse, I think that the person who perpetrates that should be put to death in the right situation. Like young, young children, uh, people who abuse children physically should, should have really, really stiff penalties uh, for doing things like that and possibly damaging someone for the rest of their lives. And we just got to know, you have to know that the world is not a pretty place. There's some really, really ugly things in the world, ugly people in the world, and sometimes they come to you under the guise of love and peace, but they're really there for their own greed. They're there for what they can get out of the situation and what they can exploit out of a child. And this is a, the perfect example of uh, a predator meeting a child on Destiny on PlayStation 4 and how something as simple as that can lead to horrible, horrible acts. I'll drop a link in the description. Man sentenced to 12 years in prison for having sex with a teen. A 34-year-old Morro Bay man was arrested, was sentenced Thursday to 12 years in prison for having sex with a 15-year-old Redding girl he met through playing an online video game. Anthony James Elmendorf was sentenced after pleading no contest Thursday to five criminal counts including child abuse and having sex with a minor. He will be required to register as a sexual offender for the rest of his life. Elmendorf must serve 85% of his sentence before being eligible for parole as well. He was ordered in March to stand trial on eight felony counts, including unlawful sexual intercourse with a minor, lewd acts, and contacting a minor with the intent to commit a sexual offense. During his preliminary hearing, Reading Police Investigator Liz Harris said the teenager and Elmendorf came to know each other through an online PlayStation video game. They eventually began conversing through chat lines and cell phones, and later agreed to get together at a Reading motel to have sex. Harris said in an interview, quote, they knew it was risky for him to come up and meet her. Ellis said Elmendorf was, quote, fully aware that the girl was only 15. According to a Reading Police Department investigative report, Elmendorf was arrested at a Baselli Lane motel after officers found him in the teen who had been reported missing by her family on September 8th. She told Reading Police officers in an interview that she had met Elmendorf several months earlier while playing the online PlayStation 4 game Destiny, in which participants through the world are in voice contact with one another. In addition to having sex, the girl told police Elmendorf provided her with what she believed was cocaine. A toxicology report found the teen had amphetamine, methamphetamine, and THC, the principal psychotic ingredient in marijuana in her blood. So, there's a lot of lessons here. A lot of lessons here. First of all, if you're a grown man, don't, don't seek out the uh, physical uh, connection with children. You know, find someone your own age, first of all. Second of all, uh, if you're a child, be aware that just because someone appears to be nice online, they could kill you, they could rape you, they could do what, what happened to this girl here. Uh, whether it was consensual or not, it was wrong and it was against the law. This guy deserves to be screwed for a very long time, and obviously he's going to be. He's got 12 years. He gave this girl amphetamines, methamphetamines, and weed to lower her inhibitions and take advantage of this girl. The girl is 15 years old. Hopefully she learned a lesson here. I hope she did. You know, you don't just meet people online and go, ah, oh, God, meet them in hotels and do stupid shit. Uh, and in this situation, her parents will probably more than likely uh, be more attentive to her needs and what's going on in her life. If you got a 15-year-old child, I have a 15-year-old. Uh, and, and you have to be aware of what's going on with your children. I know kids don't like that, but it's the job of a parent to make sure you have what you need, not what you want. It's the job of a parent to make sure that you, you're not being a take, taken advantage of by predators out there in the world like this fucking loser here. Keep your eyes on what's going on around you, uh, guys. That's for the gamers, children, and the adults. There are predators everywhere, man. It's the kind of world we live in, you know? I, I got two small daughters who you better believe I'm going to be very aware of their lives growing up. That's my responsibility as a parent, to make sure nothing happens to them. And uh, I got two small, two young sons, not small, they're taller than me, but they're still my children. It's my duty to, to make sure that no one's taking advantage of them and get them ready for the world. And hopefully this girl learns her lesson, man. It's just one of those sad situations that 
spawns from video games sometimes. Sometimes bullshit happens uh, on PlayStation and Xbox and on PC, and it leads to crap like this. You guys let me know what you think in the comments below. 12 years for having sex with a teen in a, in a hotel, giving her fucking drugs. This guy, I'm happy they caught him. I really am, because more than likely, this would have happened again. You guys give a thumbs up, show support for the channel. Follow me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and tell all your friends about me. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time. Let it go. Let it go.